All right, Masa, thank you. Well, your voice and your vote now. Clark County is seeing record turnout for a midterm. Early voting is now in its fifth day. The numbers are starting to give us an idea of who is showing up and what it might mean for the big races this year. 13 Action News reporter Tom George breaks it all down for us. Tom. Well, we're known as the battleborn state, and once again, we're also expected to be a tight battleground state, especially with some big races being watched nationally. Of course, our Senate race between Jackie Rosen and Dean Heller getting a lot of attention in the battle for control of the Senate. And of course, our wide open governor's race between Steve Sisolak and Adam Laxalt. All of that interest is driving a huge turnout so far. We've already seen 108,000 people voting so far in Clark County. And just to give you an idea of just how high that is, that's almost approaching the levels that we saw in 2016, which is a presidential year and way above our last midterm which was in 2014. So of course we don't know who these people are voting for, but we do know who's been showing up to the polls here in Clark County. About 11,000 more Democrats than Republicans have gone to the polls, possibly a sign of a blue wave, but experts say Republicans may be able to catch up. And this is a chance for the resistance, so to speak, to express their displeasure with President Trump, but it's also an opportunity for Trump supporters, of which there are many, to uh, you know, show their support for the president. So it's quite a, quite a clash of the titans here. That clash of the titans also highlighting a geographic divide here in Nevada. This was the presidential election in 2016. You can see here across the state a lot of Trump red, but it was that pocket of blue that allowed Hillary Clinton to pull out a narrow win by boosting turnout in Vegas. Now, if the Democrats can boost turnout in Vegas again, certainly a good sign for them. But the experts say Republicans tend to vote later on Election Day. And once those votes come in, it's expected to have some of these races be 50-50. So as cliche as it sounds, your vote really does count. Tom George, 13 Action News.